Today I'm going to show you how to operate your Dometic digital thermostat that operates your fan, air condition, heat pump, and furnace. Number one question all the time is, why does my fan go off when a compressor goes off? Or why does my fan stay on when a compressor goes off? I'm going to show you how to control it, and it's super simple. Okay, so what we're looking at here is my Dometic digital thermostat comes standard on most of your modern RVs today. It controls your fan, your air condition, your furnace, and if you have a rig equipped with your heat pump. It's really simple to operate, but there's three things you should know how to do. One, while it's off, if you press the minus or the plus key, your temperature, your rig will come up, and it'll just disappear after a couple seconds. So I press the minus key, I'll press the plus key, and it comes to 73 degrees. If you want to change that to Celsius, press one of the keys, get the temperature in the screen, and then press and hold the plus and minus key together, and you'll see it went to 22 degrees Celsius. If you want to change it back to Fahrenheit, get the temperature in the screen, press and hold the plus minus key together, and it goes back to Fahrenheit. Okay, the second thing is your differential. Now, it is set from the factory for a differential of 2 degrees. This has the option to go to 1 degree or 2 degrees. I like it at 1 degree. And the difference is, is you turn your furnace on and the rig gets up to temperature and all of a sudden the furnace cuts out. And before the furnace kicks back on, the rig's ice cold. That's because your differential's 2, not 1. If you set it to 1, the furnace will cycle more often, but you'll have a much more even temperature in the rig. And it's very simple to do. You press and hold the minus key, then press and hold the on-off key, and you'll see the differential come. And it says D2. If you press the... It's very quick, so I'm going to do it again. It comes to D2. If you press the plus key, you can change it. D1 or D2. Now I leave it on D1, let it go, and it'll reset itself. Now the differential is 1, so now it'll be only 1 degree before the furnace kicks back on. And the last thing is, is everybody always says when they first get this, that uh, my air condition's on, and when the compressor goes off, the fan goes off. How do I get the fan to stay on? Or vice versa, my air condition's on, when the compressor goes off, the fan stays on. How do I get the fan to go off? It's actually very simple. It is in your fan mode. Go to fan and you'll see AU for auto. And if you press the plus key, then low, press it again, then high, press it again, then back to auto. What that means is if you're in auto, the fan will go on and off with the compressor. If you set it to low or high, the fan will constantly stay on whether your compressor's on or off. Now, remember if you set it to low and you go to use your furnace, not your air conditioner or your heat pump, if you go to use your furnace, the fan will blow from the ceiling cold air. So this is only, when you're using your furnace, you want it set to AU. When you're using cool for your air conditioner or your heat pump, you can adjust it to auto, low, or high. I keep mine on high when I have the air conditioner on, so I have that constant sound. I don't like when the air conditioned compressor goes off and the fan goes off, and if I'm watching TV or something, then all of a sudden the TV's super loud because it got real quiet in the rig. So I just keep it on. Uh, high or low if, it, if it's not too cold out, uh, too warm out, and uh, I get that constant sound in here. And like any other thermostat, you can cycle through the modes, cool, furnace, heat pump, you set your temperature, and it goes. And press it again, it goes off. Super simple, once you understand it. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below, and as always, thanks for watching.